started about six minutes late, but that's Go ahead, okay. Stop talking. Well, you introduce us. This is you're the host, sir. <laughs> Please introduce us to what we are doing today. This is astrology, addicted to astrology. We talk about you go do your host thing, please, and then I'll come in. Hello? Yes. You gonna do your host thing? We have I'm trying to be John Tay. There's somebody in here though, right? Yeah. Hello, whoever that is, welcome. Go ahead, you can start it. Well, I was going to wait for a few more people. So thank you for joining us. That's what we are doing. We are waiting for a few more <clears throat> people. Right now, I'm um, setting up the money altar because this is going to be a big drastic transformation kind of week, kind of month at that. So right now, I'm just carving my initials in my candle and my birthday. I'm using a nail file. <laughs> I'm 53. And I don't want the same for my children, so I'm going to put my children on here. And their birthdays. And orange is pretty much an abundance color candle. It's burned on Sunday, which is today, which is good. It's for Leos. So shout out to Leos out there. And it's to bring prosperity, uh, abundance, like I said, good things, starting businesses, bringing in new changes. Like I said, it's a transformation month. This is the first Sunday of it. So right now, I'm just setting this candle up to burn for today. And I'm still carving my kids. I have three kids, so give me one second. I'm on the second one. I've already carved my name on it. You was just on line with me. You was just on line. Mm -hmm. Oh, go back. I didn't know. I thought that was you. Okay, bye. And. That's Megan. That was Megan in here. I knew that was Megan. I'm on Zane. And after I finish carving their birthdays and initials, then I take my good luck oil that I got from this boutique in uh, this Botanica in Mount Pleasant. This is double good luck oil, and I just anoint my candle with good luck. Ain't nobody joining. I don't want to do this. Oh, no, she coming back on. So I am recording on my phone and on my laptop. I'm on a Zoom. But I'm not sure how well the Zoom is going to go. And I bring it up for upward abundance. Make sure it's all the way anointed from bottom to top. And then I put it on my altar. This is my money altar. I have my ancestors altar on the outside of me. Alright. 
Um, <clears throat> I don't know. So I have the Zoom meeting on mute. Shout out to Lee. He got me motivated to start this. We were trying to do something together, but it might not work. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, wanted to talk about the incense that I'm also using today. Uh, the first one I put up is Gold Statue. Gold Statue. Yeah, this is what it says. A feeling within you is awaiting an enlightening experience. Light a rapid. The other one I put up for today is, of course, Attracts Money. I believe that there's going to be a big shift this week in consciousness as well as just on everybody on the upward rise. Whether they feel change or not, change is here. So um, there's the way that the planets and things are aligning, which I'm going to talk about as well. And um, just really quickly, let me light my candle. Um, I also want to clear all energies, any negative energies with Palo Santos. Clear out any negative energies from the altar, as well as myself. This one I burnt a lot. Most of my Palo Santo sticks are halfway burnt. I don't have any sage right now. I need to get some more sage. Ain't nobody joining. But um, I think I'm gonna log out this Zoom real quick, y'all. Give me one second. Gotta clear the negative energy, so I might have to log out of this Zoom because it's kind of the negative energy right now. I felt with my cancer friend that we should be doing things in a different way. Let me take this one out. And, um, you know, water signs can also be too deep for each other sometimes, so I'm gonna let him know that we're going to do this at another time. Give me one second. I've been keeping on church online. Maybe we should try this on Sunday, Thursday. Okay. The video thing. Okay. I'm going to do the video thing, so bye. You can't even hear me. <laughs> All right. We signed out. All right, y'all. So, welcome to TMZ. Um, I'm going to stop the video I have on my phone, and I'm going to actually, um, oh, I can't download it from the computer, but I'm just going to record it from the computer as well. <clears throat> so, real quick, oops, let me put this here, real quick, um, and this is limes, uh, mint, cucumbers, and ginger. That I made and just put water in. Oh, it's really refreshing, y'all. <laughs> Especially if it sits for a while. Okay, so I want to light this orange candle. Incense with the candle and one other incense that's what I wanted to do before I get into the aspects of May one of the other um, incense that I want to light will take me right into it now if you all watch Young Feral on YouTube I watch a lot of YouTubers on conspiracy theories and things and he's the only one that gets upset like I do in talking about them and how people get mad at us for saying that they're not real okay so really quick i'm gonna dedicate this incense that i got all the way back in california when i lived there from uh the amina store inside of the swap meet 10 on my 
10 10 on my numbers on my counter this is called oprah's money it smells really good but with oprah's real money in real life as well as ellen's the rockefellers the rothschilds the uh, royal palace this incense we're going to dedicate to all their money because it is being seized for them being part of the deep state New World Order, trying to get us vaccinated, trying to get us killed with meats, trying to send robo bees, killer wasps, <laughs> trying to uh, just bring out their aliens exist, all kinds of things, just from power and uh, elite status. So no, it's not a conspiracy, and you will definitely find out starting this week. As the cabal falls and the cabal is just another word for illuminati okay so let's get into it aspects of may so one of the big aspects of may is that venus is square in neptune going uh starting today square i really need to get on my phone to d determine these aspects i'm still learning a lot of things i just mastered the houses now i'm trying to master out aspects but square is not a good thing from what i remember in my notes um venus is the planet of personal love like having to do with yourself right and neptune is the planet of universal love also of illusion remember that so neptune is the higher level of the planet of venus even though it's further away, okay? Um, it starts today, and it's in Gemini. Now, we are in Taurus season, meaning planets also go through certain zodiac signs, and these planets are square in, in Gemini, okay? Um, Gemini is the inquisitive sign. It's time to ask questions. So, dealing with those two planets and personal love, ask questions about your own personal love, ask questions about us as a whole, us as a, um, conscious beings, you know, be inquisitive about that. Be more innovative in new ideas and new beliefs on those aspects of life. On the 5th of May, <clears throat> the North Nodes, the Nodes will switch, and they switch every year and a half. So the North Node and the South Node um, are going from Cancer and Capricorn. Capricorn being um, the father, so to speak, is zodiac sign, and Cancer being the mother, zodiac sign. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, and Cancer is ruled by the moon. And we're going to come to the moon very soon, too, because that's the exciting part of this. Um, it is moving into Gemini and Sagittarius, which is a more lighthearted, innovative, higher thinking kind of nodes. And nodes are pretty much your experience and your destiny so everybody's always towards going towards their north node once they get in their adult years like over 40 um everything behind that from birth to 40 to 39 is your south node which is what we call your experience note so um sage is the one that people are going through an experience so you're experiencing higher levels of still thinking but gemini is when you're actually being innovative on this you're actually going with your higher level of thinking. You're actually taking action on it towards how your life is going to be moving into the future. All right. The last one and a half years, when it was in Cancer and Capricorn, um, you were learning to nurture. As Like I said, Cancer is the mother sign. You're learning to nurture your uh, thoughts. You are um, coming from dogmatic beliefs on the Capricorn side, on the more of the father side, on you're coming from opinions and, you know, freeing your mind from that using this crossover that's coming on May the 5th in two days. And, um, like, take censorship right now. There's a lot of things going on online where people are speaking out because they're feeling this North Node going into Gemini. And um, certain media platforms are censoring them and banning them you know aka face well <laughs> aka jail 
on uh, FB Jail on that place, on that platform. And now we're thinking who's decide what's right or wrong. You know, who's to decide how we can think? Who's to decide what we should do with ourselves? And who's to decide that the things that happened in the past are good for the stuff that we need going into the future, right? So this is very important, the nodes changing on May the 5th. All right, it's the full moon in Scorpio, which is my sign of those of you who don't know. The full moon in Scorpio. And I wish I had my black. I had my black lipstick on last week, and I don't have it today, but I still have my black shirt and my black braids that I'm getting ready to take out. I've had since the Libra full moon. <laughs> so, um, full moon in Scorpio is coming on May the seventh, and this is when I promise you all that by next Thursday into Friday, there will be big changes in the world as we know it. It is not the end of the world as the end of the world per se, but it's the end of the world as we know it. It'll be definitely changing. Scorpio being the transformation sign, being the uh, most intense sign, it will be an intense transformation. Change is good. It's not always easy. But it's definitely good. Um, Pluto is one of Scorpio's rulers, and Pluto is the planet of transformation. Um, Scorpio's other ruler is Mars. And that's why I have my orange candle going and burning in the back. Shout out to that. That's awesome. And I have my incense. I'm in a really good mood. Let me just throw this in. I'm not sure who makes this. But I also refresh my face. I definitely refresh my face with rose water. Okay, back on topic. The full moon will bring light to a lot of secrets, aka conspiracy theories. So this week, for those of you who do not believe, that's why I keep saying on my platforms every day now, I'm learning not to debate I'm learning to just sit back and let things happen, and they definitely are. Some people are still in awe, but I believe this week there will be something that comes out really large that will show that conspiracy theories are definitely conspiracy facts. <laughs> okay. Um, in May also, so back in April on the 25th, the plane of transformation, Pluto, went into retrograde. So May is ultra May is also gonna be a big retrograde season month. There are five planets gonna be in retrograde. Pluto started in April. Okay. Pluto again is the transformation planet. And anytime a 